you buy kombucha from the store, like this brand, you're looking at about $3.99 for a jar. So you can make it at home for a fraction of the price. I've got a one gallon jar. This is what we're gonna mix it in. This one has a nice spigot that makes it easy to work with. Most important part is the starter tea and this, <laughs> which is the SCOBY, is probably the most important part. Without it, you can't have kombucha. This has all of the important bacteria that's gonna do the fermenting and the carbonating and all of that jazz. So you wanna make sure your jars are food safe and that they're not gonna crack and break on you if you put boiling water into them. So we've got our boiling water and we've got our cold water. In the hot water, you're gonna make your sweet tea we're gonna put in 16 grams of tea, which is eight Tetley bags, because each bag has two grams. You don't wanna use honey, maple syrup, or natural sweeteners like that. Oh no, I don't know if I have room in here. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, oh no. It's getting a little bit full. Shoot. Okay, you know. Mayday. We're gonna have to make some room for this sugar. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. We wanna stir it to dissolve all the sugar. Then we'll let it steep for five to 10 minutes and then we'll put it all together in our big canister here. Now it's time to add our cold water and our sweet tea to the gallon pitcher. Pour that in, this in. And now if this isn't too hot, we can add our starter tea and our SCOBY. If it's too warm, it'll kill a bacteria. So you wanna make sure it's room temperature. So I just like to use a piece of paper towel to cover the top and a rubber band from a broccoli stalk you want it to be able to breathe. So you don't wanna put a closed top on it. And then I like to write the date on it so that I don't lose track. So it's February 7th. There we go. So this is going to sit for one week. I'm gonna test it after five days and see if it's still sweet. We'll let it sit a while. If it's starting to get tangy, we're going to bottle it in something like this that has a closed top and that's gonna sit for about three days so that the carbonation can build up and it can get nice and bubbly. Thanks for watching. If I remember, I'll make a video on the second phase of the process. We'll see.